Good morning everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Belinda and I'm back here today with Trash Craft Tuesday. So a quick simple little project today. Um, under a bit of time pressure I've got someone arriving at about 9.30 so I've got less than an hour. So let's jump in and do this. I hope you are having a wonderful day. I better say that before I forget. So I have here a whole bunch of circles I have punched out of trash which is a cat food box i've been working with cat food box for a wee while actually uh, because we have a lot of them we have four cats so we go through a lot of cat food so i'm just going to punch one more just to show you what i've done so far so i punched a circle out of cardboard and then i've just run around it with my aged mahogany distress ink because it's a beautiful deep ready brown which I think will go really nicely for Christmas because what I'm going to make today is little gift tags to put on the presents for Christmas I like to make my own tags I don't like to use commercial ones and normally I make little little miniature cards you know like greeting cards but little ones but I thought I'm going to do something different this year because I want to use some scraps from the uh, Christmas Craft Off 23 with Rachel and Bella Crafts. I've got a whole heap of like scraps, you know, scraps of, of Christmas papers. And so I want to use some of those up. And I thought they would be really nice to put on Christmas tags. So like, like there's, there's just bundles of them. Bundles of scraps. Whoops, that's not one. Um, so let's just grab out some... Some of these are whole pages, so I'm doing a little sort through. Um, totally off camera, I realise. Um, here's another one, and another one, and another one. I've just got like so many scraps. So, we're not going to use all of these by any stretch of the imagination. But it gives us plenty to work with, and I really love this. So I'm just going to go ahead right now and punch one of those. Now, I don't know how many I need. Let's do a count up. So, how many circles have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice round number, isn't it? So, let's go one from here. Maybe the poinsettia. Oh, if I can get it around the curve. Oh, yep, I didn't think it was going to punch that one, but it did. So I think I'll try and do like 10 different ones. Uh, so one from this, this is a beautiful page. Maybe of these presents down the bottom would be cool. And maybe a bauble from up here. And I'm going to make them bauble shaped. Because I thought, why not? I'm starting with a circle. So if you don't have a hole punch um, like this, then hand cut or, yeah, I guess hand cut's the option. This is one and three quarter inches is what I'm working with. Okay, so put that one aside. Let's grab this one, Christmas trees. I prefer to punch upside down so I can see precisely what I'm punching. So that's five. We've got five more to go, so going fairly quickly, which is nice. Um, it's a nice colourful bit up here. I'm not worried if there's an image or not. Just looking for something pretty. So that's six, I think. And there's some holly berries down here. I can get them. Yep. Seven. Um, I think I want something more decorative. Let's go for this one down here. I don't think I'll be able to get that heart, but maybe this bauble or most of it. The top's going to be covered up by the next step, but that's okay. 
what are we at? Eight, I think. Eight, let's go this down a corner. Some more holly, different holly. The fairies. Nine. Want some nutcrackers? Yeah, why not? Throw in a couple of nutcrackers. Ten soldiers. Now, I think that's ten, but I'm going to do one more just in case I've miscounted. So let's grab this page. And, hmm, or maybe not. Maybe we'll go, maybe we'll go this one. Um, hmm. Don't know why I'm being so picky. <laughs> that will go. That one there. So we should have 11 if my counting's right. Just giving myself that little extra just in case. I don't know how many we're going to get through, but I'm gonna going to try and do our best. So I'm going to turn these over. This side that I've inked will be the writing side. So I'm going to glue these now on the back, like so. So easy peasy. Let's grab out my glue stick. Oh, I haven't used it all weekend. And that was really hard to get on. It's like it glued itself onto the, onto the thing, onto the plastic. because the cardboard is slightly shiny it gives me a little bit of time just to move it around and I the punch hasn't punched all that well on the paper it's left some scraggy bits but I can trim those off later so yeah I hope your weekend was fabulous I of course am recording this on Monday to ear on Tuesday so I'm hot off the back of a great weekend very busy social but fun weekend so that was really really nice um don't you know don't have a lot of those but this is the time of year when they start happening that's for sure so i had talked about the secret santa for the church on that was going to happen on saturday night well bit of miscommunication we only had half the story so it didn't happen on Saturday night it's happening on the 17th of December and it's the the draw for the people was done yesterday uh, Sunday just gone so um, we received our names of our people and my planned gifts will work for both of those people so that's good because we'd I'd made them and taken them and had them ready for Saturday night, expecting that we were going to just like, I don't know, put them all in a pile and draw or something. But no. But so they're all ready to go. I'm just going to have to unwrap them a, a little and have a peek inside and then label them according to the people because one is more masculine, one's more feminine, and we happen to have... Um, my husband got drawn a man as his person to give to and I got drawn a 11 year old girl so I just want to open them up and label them so that the the guy gets the more masculine version and the girl gets the more feminine version because that just makes sense don't you think when it's completely random you know you just pile sort of style um, you've got no control over who gets what um, but since we know who we're giving to I want to make sure they get the appropriate one for them so I made the bauble journals um, I did show them in a previous video but obviously I can't show them now because they're wrapped up so very fun very fun so yes and I've got a friend coming um this morning she's driving over from it takes about two and a half hours for her to get to me and she was going to leave to arrive here at 9 30 a.m 
which I think is quite funny because I said to her in a message that I work from 8am to 9.30pm and I think she misunderstood <laughs> and she read it as 9, either thought I mistyped or misread it, I don't know which. <coughs> it's like, well, you know, I'm expecting to see her today so it doesn't really matter except that I need to get the video done and out. So that I'm not stressing about having to do my video and not giving her the, you know, my best time and attention if I'm stressing about um, commitments and things that I need to be doing. So, yeah, so that's today. It's going to be fun. Um, my bike is all good to go. It's so exciting. And my hubby got his bike out, um, which he hasn't ridden for ages, and cleaned that up and pumped up the tyres and stuff. And he decided he was going to go give it a test run. And it's like, well, can I come too? And he's like, okay. So we both went for a little bike ride yesterday. And it was only a little one, because it's like, I was trying to work it out, I think at least three years since I've last been on my bike since it became unrideable um, with various issues it needed dealing with so now that it's all good to go so we went for a wee bike ride just around our street and then down to the next street and around the next street and that was enough it was so much fun I really enjoyed it um, so we got back and hubby put the bikes away which is just on our back deck Right, so I did have 11, so we're, we're good, we've done our 10. Um, put them on the back deck and he was just tinkering around with something. I can't remember what he was doing. And next minute there's this big bang. And so I went, went rushing out on the deck and he was already out there. And one of his tubes on his bike had popped. I'd almost say exploded because it was really loud. So good thing it didn't do that when he was actually biking on it because that would have potentially um, been a bit not nice. Um, so fortunately it did it once. It was, you know, nobody was on it and it was all fine. So on his way home tonight, he's buying a new tube. <laughs> it was quite funny. You know, it was funny because there was no, no real harm done and they were old tubes, so... I said he probably needs to replace the other one as well, but he's just going to replace the one that blew for now. Right, so just aged mahogany around. Um, these do need a little trim up, but I might be able to do that after if I just fold in the little bits that are a bit hairy. Just so I'm not fiddling around on camera, given that I've got time pressure happening. Because I, I would like to finish at least one so you can see what I'm aiming towards. And maybe that's something you'd like to do yourself for your Christmas gift giving this year. Or anything. I mean, it doesn't need to be Christmas. You could make them for a birthday, anniversary, a thank you, whatever. You just change the patterns and what you're using. And whatever box you've got, whether it's a cereal box or some junk mail or something even I want I wanted something fairly sturdy and the cat box is certainly sturdy so doing it this way without the sponge it's fairly quick just to run around the circle hopefully that noise isn't annoying you could be a bit of ASMR is that how you say it? Ace? I can't remember which way the letters go. I think it's ASMR. You can always turn the sound down if it annoys you. And this one. So, really quick. We're not done yet, though. Nope. We've got more to do. Because I've got my other toy to play with, remember, if you've been watching. You'll know what my new toy is. 
it's really cold inside this morning it's very sunny outside but it's cold inside that's making my nose run my whale tail punch is my new toy in case you didn't know so now i'm going to punch some whale tails and i think i'll just do it one at a time because i'm not sure which papers i want to match with what you know this is what's going to make them look like little christmas ornaments going in there with the aged mahogany Maybe I should have pre-cut these and inked these because this takes a little bit longer. Going around all the curves. And looking for maybe this one, the Christmas tree. And they are slightly wider than my circle, but I'm just going to put the top up up further yep so about there I'm just gonna take a glue it on um, do one side and then I'll hold it in place and then I'll flip it over and do the other side oh come on glue don't do this oh, there we go just a slow go it's like oh, I don't know if I want to go today it's a bit cold you know you could have warmed it up but yeah i expect it will turn nice inside eventually now i'm just gonna slide in and glue down that bit come on glue you can do it there we go so still plenty of right room there to write the to and the from so like to mum from me <laughs> so i you could go in and trim these corner bits off but i think i think it's fine left okay we'll do a few more because i want to do something else with them as well we're not done yet okay let's use some of this one Ouch, come. There you go. Now the ink probably won't show on this one, so I'm going to actually not ink this one. Fragments and glue and grubbiness on my fingers already. Didn't take long. Um, how about this one? Do it that way. Get rid of that. That looks really gross, so let's get rid of it. Okay, I think about there looks looks good. Yeah, so been lots going on, lots still to go. I still have not finished my um, Christmas December days digital kit. It's getting there though. I'm close, um, so I'm hoping I won't spend too much time with my friend today because i want to get that done and out because it needs to be out before december hits it definitely needs to be out before then so that's my is actually my priority um managed to do a little bit last night because we were out for a good portion of the day yesterday i got a little bit done um but yeah, not as much as I would have liked. Okay. Got a, the odd little white bit here and there that I will go in and take care of later. But I won't fiddle around that um, with you guys. Because that's just going to take time. Okay, let's go a bit of this. So all of these papers are from the Timeless... Christmas collection from Rachel and Bella Crafts. So I will pop all the links down in the description box. They are beautiful, beautiful papers. Great vintage look to it, but also um, 
doesn't necessarily need to be vintage. It can be used for a more, I, I guess traditional is the word, traditional Christmas. But it does vintage up beautifully with a bit of vintage photo or any other ink that you like. It doesn't need to be vintage photo. Okay, I'm going to put this one on our little tin soldiers there. Yep. So I'm just going to do this one and then I'll do the next step. And I didn't grab out what I need, which was not very helpful. So I'll have to do that. I need to grab out my crocodile. And then that's not very straight, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's okay on that side. It's just not, I think, it's not that it's not straight, it's not centered, but that's okay. I mean, most likely the recipients are going to throw these out anyway. The majority of them will throw them out. And it's like, yeah, I put some time into that, but okay. But I know there are certain people in my family who won't throw them out. Uh, one of them is my father-in-law, actually. He's particularly good at keeping every single card we ever give him. And he keeps them up. And then when he gets the next one, he'll take that one down. And it'll go in his little stash. And then he displays. But sometimes he'll keep several of them up for, like, years. It's really sweet. Right. Grab out my crocodile. So you can just use a regular hole punch, um, eyelet setting tool, or you could just punch a hole, not do an eyelet. Um, I don't really want to do big eyelets is the thing. I do have some baby ones, but they are not Christmas colours. Hmm, okay. What am I going to do? Hole reinforces? Shall I make some hole reinforces? And I'm thinking the small one. So let's give it a, a test run. I won't know until I give it a test run. So let's see how it, one, how it looks and how it fits and all that sort of stuff. So I'm going to punch. Um, no, I'm going to punch this one first. This, we might need to go the next size up for the hole, but we'll, we'll see. We'll play. Let's play for a little bit. Make sure I get the right one. Oops, I may have not put that. No, let's try again. Need to put it. Give myself a bit more space around it. Let's try that. I put that one too close to the edge. I'm gonna. There's a tiny hole in the middle there. Tiny hole. That's centering it is interesting. It's not really centered. And let's put a tiny hole in here. Oh yeah. Trying to trying to get the middle. Maybe upside down is easier. Let's assume it's about there. I think that's going to be cute. I do think that will be cute. So let's, let's put a little bit of ink around it. I really should tidy up the house a little bit before a friend comes too. I haven't actually seen her for years. Um, she moved away. So as I said, about two and a half hours away. She used to live with us. Um, but yeah, she moved quite a long time ago now. Um, and haven't haven't actually caught up with her for ages. We talk a lot online, you know, through Messenger, but actually seeing each other has been so long. Cute. I think I'll do one on each side. Because I want it to be able to dangle off the present rather than be sellotaped. Quite often I'll sellotape the tags on, but this time I want to 
want to do the pretty thing. You know, have a bit dingle dangles. And you could put focal points on them too. I did think about that, but I haven't. I think I'd want to print off the um, the images like at a smaller size. I think I'm just going to use tacky glue for this one. Just because my fingers are getting really sticky from the glue stick. And I'm sure this will be fine. Here we go. Look, ink, inky fingers. It's because I didn't wait for the ink to dry. Let's take care of the stickiness and the ink, shall we? We shall. Here we go. Done. Gosh, very unprepared. I didn't grab out half the stuff I needed. Right, string. I'm just going to go with string. I think that'll be a really nice look. And I can put the sellotape through it, through the loop. So we'll go about there. And tie it in a little knot. tight and there we've got a little gift tag bauble shaped which we can write on the back of our little to and from I think that's really cute I think that's fun I do I, I am rather pleased with it I think they'll be really nice on the gifts for the family and friends and you know whoever we give gifts to uh, so I will go ahead and do those, but I will not do them now because I think I've got about 20 minutes before my friend arrives and I really should do a bit of tidy up, don't you think, since it's so long since she's been here. Um, thanks for joining me, my friends. I hope you enjoy this just quick little project using up some scraps and some trash materials, cardboard, scrappy cardboard. Uh, make yourself some fun little gift tags in whatever shape and pattern and design you would like. They they don't need to be these papers. They don't need to be round. You could punch squares or cut squares, whatever you like. But I thought the baubles were kind of cute. Why not? Okay, my friends, take care. Have a wonderful day. I'll be back again tomorrow with another video. Who knows on what yet? Um, I'll have to work that one out too. Okay, take care, guys. Bye for now.